Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to show you how I do a quick five minute look with, well, five to ten minutes with nothing but drugstore and dollar store items. Uh, well, it's a combination of drugstore, dollar store, and five below. I will let you know where I got each item as I go and you can achieve, and I want to show you that you can achieve a glamorous look or a very nice out going out look um, with these items so let's get started I've already moisturized my face and the first item I'm gonna start off with is Almay smart shade this is a foundation it is a drugstore item I got this one at well no Walmart yes not Walgreens I got this at Walmart it was $10 at Walmart, which is a great deal because other places like Ulta and Walgreens and CVS have it for like $15, $14. So definitely go for Walmart. I am the shade 200, light medium. And this is a um, skin tone matching makeup. So it comes out white. And I will show you guys what that looks like. It's kind of like creamish white. But then you rub it on your face, and I like to put some on my hand and just rub it together and literally just kind of smear it all over my face. I learned this technique from Tati on YouTube. She is a makeup queen to me, so I watch her every single day. And I try to pick up all the tips and tricks from her. And um, she actually recommended this foundation for a quick look. So I went out and got it. It took me a little bit, but I went out and got it. Sorry if I hit the table. I kind of have to sit really close to it in order to um, be in the right distance from the camera. So, Okay, so I have my foundation on. Now, it's not full coverage. It just kind of sets a veil over your skin. It makes it look very smooth, very even. It's beautiful. It's very light on the skin, too. So that's really, really nice. I love that about this foundation. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Match Perfection Concealer. And this one is a squeezy tube with a brush at the end. I'm almost out, so I'm going to have to go out and get a new concealer. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit right under the eyes. I'm not going for a very heavy look. I'm just going for like a very natural. I'm also going to put some on the eyelids. I don't have eyeshadow primer, and I find that a little bit of concealer and some powder make the perfect base for eyeshadow so I don't have to worry about heavy um, eyeshadow concealers or having to run out and get one right away eyeshadow primers sorry getting all my words mixed up okay so I'm going to blend this in with my finger I hope this is looking okay because I'm using the camera. I don't have a small mirror that I can bring with me. So I'm just going to blend this in. That looks pretty good. Same thing on the other side. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to take some powder, just some setting powder, and I'm going to set that into my eyelid and underneath my eye. Just some powder with a velour puff. I'm not trying to bake. I'm just setting everything in place. 
I do normally like to bake, but when I do a quick five minute look, there is no time to bake. So setting a concealer is better than no concealer. So, all right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just powder up my face to set that foundation in place. Just really quickly. There are no other cream products that I'm using, so. Now the powder that I'm using is from Five Below and it is called Flawless Natural Loose Powder by City Color and this powder was less than five dollars. So there is my base. Overall I do have some under eye circles but that comes from having to get up at six in the morning so or five in the morning. I can't remember what time I got up this morning. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my Fabulous Phase Ulta Palette. These are Ulta brand eyeshadows. And I'm going to take my best friend over here. This is an e.l.f. brush. It's an eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to take a natural nude skin tone. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. And this is going to be my base for my eyeshadow. I'm going to keep the eyeshadow very, very natural. I'm going to keep the whole look as natural as I can, considering how much product I'm using. So, all right. So there is that. Then I'm going to go in with, that was the shade Lively that I just put in. I'm going to go in with the shade Gentle, which is right below it. It is a tan brown color. And I'm just going to fade that into with the same brush. I don't even bother switching brushes when I'm doing a quick look. I'm going to go into the crease. All right, and I apologize for the terrible lighting. It's kind of late and I don't have direct natural sunlight, so. I have very hooded eyes, so in order to not crease my forehead, I have to tip my head very far back. Alright, there is a very soft natural eyeshadow look. I'm going to take a little bit of Clever, which is this shade right here. It's very similar to Lively, except it's a little shimmery. And I'm just going to put that underneath my brow bone just as a highlight. I'm using the same brush. Again, I don't care. Okay. And then I'm going to take my eyeshadow, my um, eyebrow brush, if I can find it out of this cup right here. This little tiny guy is my what I use for my eyebrows. I grab the shade Thoughtful, which is this dark brown shade right here. And I just tap it on there. And I very, very lightly dust it on my eyebrows. This could potentially end up looking awful. I have never, ever done my makeup on this. Hold on, let me use the mirror that comes. It's too far away with the camera, so I'm just going to use the mirror that comes with the eyeshadows. Probably safer that way. Okay, so there are my eyebrows. I'm not happy with this one. There we go. So I'm pretty good with that. All right, so now I am going to take my bronzer. Where did I put my bronzer palette? Ah. For bronzer, I am using the shade. Actually, I don't know the shade, name of the shade. This is by City Color, and it's Contour Effects on the Go. This is from Five Below. And I'm going to take my contour brush. I'm going to tap on this shade right here. Now, this is extremely pigmented, so it's very, very light hand along the perimeter of my face.
Now I'm going to go to the shade right below it with the same brush. I tend to reuse the brushes. I know a lot of people don't do that, but I can't help it. And I'm just going to lightly blend out and contour my cheekbones. All right, I'm going to get the other side. Okay, I like to use that lighter taupey color right there, tan color, because it's not as dramatic. So for a natural look, you definitely want to go with something that's less dramatic. Let's close that up. All right, next I am going to take my highlighter. Where did I put it? Ah, there it is, hiding underneath my eyeshadow. And I'm still using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. I'll go ahead and get that opened up. And I'm going to take, as evil as it may sound, the same brush as I did my contour, which is awful, I know. I need to get more brushes. I'm just going to tap it very lightly on the lightest shade over here. It's right there. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on my high point of my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to grab my City Color B Matte Blush again from Five Below. I'm going to swirl that inside, tap. All right, that is done. Then I'm going to take my mascara. I like to use, I don't like to use, but it's the only one I have. The one I'm using is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. I don't particularly care for this mascara, but it is what I have right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. It just takes like two coats to do the job of one coat of other mascaras. So that's why I don't like it. I need to use the mirror again. Now this is a waterproof formula, which I do like about it. Ugh. Okay. Okay, so there is my mascara. As you can tell, it didn't do very much, but that is what I am sticking with tonight. I don't feel like putting on falsies. So I'm gonna take the golden color on this highlight palette and I'm just gonna rub my finger on it and I'm going to very lightly dust the top of my nose. I don't do the tip of my nose because I have a very rounded tip nose and I don't feel like making my nose look even whiter. So I just avoid the tip of my nose because it'll look more bulbous. So there is that. The eyeshadow is extremely subtle, looks very natural. Um, overall, the whole look looks very natural. So I really like doing this look for like work or just on a day that I'm not doing very much. Um, the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this LA Colors Lipstick Duo from the dollar store. This is in the shade Natural going right along with our theme and I am just going to apply this It is very rich, very pigmented, very creamy and moisturizing. It does bring a clear lip gloss on the bottom side, but I will not be using that tonight. I don't feel like putting on lip gloss. So this is my everyday five minute put together out the door kind of look. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. Click that like button down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. I am Angela That Babe on Instagram and YouTube That Babe on Twitter and Snapchat. I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.